Lane Hurt here with Florida State diver Josh Davidson. Josh, what have the emotions been like the last couple of weeks? You just wrapped up zones, qualified for NCAs, and then to have your your, your season end abruptly like that. What what what's it all been like? Well, so the emotions I the emotions were already high going into NCAA zones, the qualifying meet because it was kind of a make or break it deal for a lot of my team because most of the people I've been diving with for the past couple of years are graduating this year. So obviously emotions were already high and a bunch of them qualified and we were super excited to be able to travel together and have this last meet. Um, so it was obviously very disappointing to uh, have them end their career and also not get the opportunity to share in that experience with them. Um and also with the training that was involved and the mental preparation and the physical preparation as well, um, just to kind of be ramped up on top of that mountain and then just kind of dropped off was, was a little unexpected. Um, but at the end of the day, I think it, it gives good, good sight and good desire for next year um, to train hard throughout the rest of um, the summer as well as going into next fall to, uh, to really appreciate the opportunity to compete next year. How are you? How were you guys notified? Was it one of those things that you saw on social media? Did the coaches bring you together? How how did you find out? Yeah, so it was it was like a it was all within the span of probably like two or three hours where um, the team was together actually at lunch. We were in College Town eating lunch, and uh, we were just getting emails and like calls and from the university as well as professors, and they're like, "Just be ready, like have your stuff for over spring break." And um, we were just receiving that. And I got a call from my coach and he was kind of explaining that things are going to be shut down and, and that the meet's canceled and all this. So um, that, that's how the news was received. Was it helpful at all that you guys season did end up on a high note? You guys competed so well at zones. From, it was yeah. such a, a mix of from, from being on top from start to finish to someone like Ayla who came from so far behind to yeah. – to earn her qualifying spot was it helpful to know that at least you have those memories of, of, of finishing your career well oh my gosh yeah abs- absolutely I think I think everybody like all of the seniors who competed at NCAA zones would be happy with their performance and obviously it's not like they left anything on the table or anything um yeah especially with in regards to that competition until a, a quick story about uh that final that you were talking, you mentioned about Ayla, I was sitting in the chair next to my coach during the entirety of that final. And um, just to show you how big the heart of John Proctor is towards his divers and how much he desires them to succeed. He was sitting in his chair and he was like, just like pacing. He was like panting. He was like, come on, Ayla, you got this. Like it would be like five divers until Ayla's turn was even up. And he'd still be like, come on, Ayla, just so in his head and desiring that she would just like get after it. And to see that like desire, uh, satisfied with her like competing well was true. It was just, it was a great moment for the team and, and for, for John and Ayla for sure. I know you guys are so used to the routine of practice and competition and you, to have that taken away. What are you doing to stay in shape right now? And, and have you had to resort to anything creative to, to, to do, <laughs> to do that? So as of right now, I'm running every morning. I'll run probably from, like a mile to two miles. I, as divers, we don't do very much cardio. So I'm kind of getting into the swing of things, but trying to make sure my lungs still work. Um, but I have been doing that. And also I've been stretching every day because it's very easy to like tighten up really quickly once you're away from practice. So I've been making an effort to do those two things. Um, and also I'm going to look forward to uh, becoming more creative with like some plyometric and kinematic exercises that I can do just around the house and, uh, yeah. How many weeks away are you from using the couch as a springboard? <laughs> I actually saw a, a picture. One of the recruits that's coming onto the team next year sent a meme or something. It said, uh, like, US, U.S. government, everybody work from home. And it was divers. And it was, like, this girl diving into, like, a toilet. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. Kind of getting antsy. Missing it, for sure. Missing being outdoors and practicing with the team. But... Uh, doing the best I can to stay in shape. As far as I mean, you obviously, you know, miss being with your teammates, missing the pool and, and the boards. Is there something small that was kind of unexpected that that you miss that you didn't ever think would be something that you'd miss? Hmm. I think 
that's a tough question. I think the, yeah, maybe the exhaustion after like a good practice, um, just driving back from the pool, sitting in the car and just feeling like drained, that feeling of like knowing that you put in a good day's work. Um, I'm trying to look for that in the running and stuff, but it's, it's just not the same as like an ex- extended, like three, four hour practice. So that is, that, that would be a small thing I think that I miss. Also, everyone right now is looking for new sources of, of entertainment. Is there anything that you've seen online, any hobbies that you may have picked up that you think might be interesting for or cool to do for, for somebody else? Um, well, I've taken this time to read more as well as take my studies very seriously. I'm still getting accustomed to like all the online stuff, especially mm-hmm. with engineering. It's very difficult to uh, be taught like some of the courses that I'm in online. So getting accustomed to that, reading a lot, as well as playing guitar. So like, I don't know, picking up an instrument might be fun. And I think this is a time that like people, whenever they're like confined to their houses, they could actually take advantage of it and like grow in other areas. And like, I don't know, live maybe a different life from what they're used to living, but one that's like still full and fun and exciting and all that. So that's what I've been trying to live into. Excellent. And I'd be remiss to to not ask you because you you train with with someone like Katrina Young who's who's been in the Olympics and was hoping to go back for for the Olympics to be put on pause for a year. What do you think about that decision? And and you know, have you talked to Katrina about you know how that impacts her? I haven't reached out to Katrina yet, but she is going to be training with us another year until the next Olympic trials. And um, I think personally, for me the postponement was actually a good thing just because I think that extra year of preparation might give me a little bit of a better shot to maybe potentially finaling at the Olympic trials. Um, But I do think it would be really difficult for, for Katrina, especially being engaged and looking forward to getting married eventually that like she was looking at this summer being her last competitive summer. So um, for that to be postponed is obviously a huge hitch in her plans. And I'm sure there's a bunch of emotions involved in that. So I will need to reach out, make sure she's doing she's doing well with that. And finally, before I let you go, do you have a message to the fans out there? <laughs> uh, go Knowles. <laughs> <laughs>